is being prepared important. So we need to issue a severe thunderstorm warning for this portion to the north of Albuquerque. You see where Albuquerque is located here? So let's go ahead and go through that motion. So we put the warning out. See that this is radar. It's showing a very bad thunderstorm that we see just north of Albuquerque here. And so we put the warning out. And can you see the hatched area, this big box? That is the area where People that live in this hatched box area are the greatest threat. And so we need to warn individuals and make the notifications for anyone that lives in that big box. So Ethan, what do you think? Say if you're up in Santa Fe, you see where Santa Fe is? Can you find it? Right up there. Is Santa Fe in the area of greatest threat with this thunderstorm? No. So who do we need to notify? in the box, right? Very good. This thunderstorm is intensifying quickly. National Weather Service has just issued a severe thunderstorm warning through 7 p.m. It looks like this thunderstorm has 70 mile per hour winds in it. Keep here on Channel 5 for the latest weather information. National Weather Service in Albuquerque has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Bernalillo County effective until 7 p.m. Mom, there's a big storm coming. Get away from the window. Oh, Edna, I have to get off the phone. There's a bad storm coming. So we have been learning about natural disasters and how to stay prepared and more importantly, how to educate other people, other kids. And what does preparedness mean to you? Yes. Um, preparedness um to mean to you um. Almost. That's okay. <laughs> I think it's better that if you're prepared, mm -hmm. then it'll be a lot easier when you know that something's gonna happen. I like that. That's a simple. That's that's very effective way to look at it, right? You feel better in terms of preparations and knowing what to expect and feel safer. What other types of natural disasters do we deal with here? Um, wildfires. Wildfires is a big one, right? Yeah. Yes. An asteroid. Uh, not exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> but, uh, that could certainly be a natural disaster. Is preparedness important? Yes. yes. We all agree with that, right? Yes. What is one tip that you would pass along? For any of these, um, we're talking about wildfires, we're talking about floods, we're talking about all these different natural disasters. What is one item? Yes. You could get an emergency pack. An emergency, and what would be in that preparedness? There could be okay. water, snacks, and a radio would also be very good. Very good. And extra batteries, and right? And extra batteries. For not only the radio, but for what else? Flash. That's exactly right. Very good. Nobody can predict the ex exact outcome of any natural disaster. And not all natural disasters are created equally. However, if we take the time now to educate ourselves on the possible impacts from disasters, 
we can begin to plan and be prepared for these emergency situations. When a natural disaster strikes, how will you react? One way to get ahead of any natural disaster is to have an emergency preparedness pack. Keeping a bag or pack of some essential items in an emergency can help you deal with the harsh elements that often occur during a natural disaster. For example, packing a flashlight, spare batteries, a blanket, first aid kit, or even a battery-powered radio could prove to be life-saving in certain emergency situations. Is it smart during a thunderstorm to go outside and take photos? Is that such a wise? No. Why is it not wise? You can put yourself in danger, right? That's being prepared to know what to do at the right time. And you know what we like about that? What she said is, even though she's little, it's still important to be prepared. And we have before us some of this brochure, these brochures and this preparedness material. One thing that we like at the National Weather Service is that when we educate you, you take this information home and at your dinner table or when you're in a group with your family and friends, you will often share this information with the grown-ups and the grown-ups actually learn from you. <laughs> that's how it often works. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah. And that's, uh, that's part of the preparedness circle is that this information that you're learning at your age will benefit you, of course, for the rest of your life, but you're able to take this home and educate others. And that's a pretty cool thing right now. We urge you to spend some time and learn about natural disasters in your local, community, and surrounding areas. Think of your families, friends, and loved ones, and begin planning. The time to act is now.